Ciao ragazzi, ho appena parlato con mia mamma un po' a lungo delle sue prime impressioni dell'Italia Sicuramente qualcosa che vorrete sentire Chiaramente abbiamo dovuto parlare in inglese quindi attivate i sottotitoli in italiano se ce n'è bisogno E se volete soltanto ascoltare questo o anche Briller Podcast dove parlo principalmente in inglese E metterò anche questa puntata in quel podcast quindi se volete ascoltare basta È sempre disponibile lì E andiamo all'interview con mia mamma, dai Mom? Brian? Welcome to Italy. Buongiorno. I have some questions for you about what you think of Italy so far. Si. So feel free to give an answer as long as you want, as descriptive, short, anything, just whatever you feel. Okay. First, what are your first impressions of Italy? Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Um... Everyone here is very friendly and welcoming and really nice. Um, the parts of the country that I've seen so far are undescribable to me in words because it's so amazing. And it's been my dream to be here for so long. And being able to see the landscapes and meet... Um, Sonia's family and um, all of her friends has been a priceless um, dream of mine. So mom, when did you get to Italy? How long has it been? I got to Italy um, seven days ago. Seven? Monday morning I got here. Okay, this is your seventh day? Yes. Okay, so yes. You've, you've gotten to see a decent amount of things I've so far. I've seen um, a lot of downtown Rome. I've driven around a lot on the ring. Oh yeah, the, the Grande the Raccordo and all that. And I got to see, obviously, Venice was amazing. So is there anything that's like surprised you yes. about Italy? Something you're like, hmm, didn't expect that? All the graffiti. I didn't expect that. Um, and it's just a lot more crowded and a lot more traffic than I expected. Um, being an American, like, it almost reminds me of being in New York City. Like, it's, and I didn't expect for it to be that large. So on the other hand, is there something that you expected that actually isn't true? <laughs> um, What's funny? <clears throat> I'm sure that this is like very American, but <clears throat> I expected to be able to go anywhere and get like meat and cheese trays or plates. And that hasn't been necessarily the case. <laughs> so you mentioned a couple of things about the welcomingness of the Italians. What are your impressions on Italian people so far? I have learned that, well, I mean, I didn't expect them not to be, but yeah, they're just really, really nice and they really, really want to try to help you if you don't understand the language and they're just very um, hospitable. Um, And they want to 100% take care of you while you're here. Where if we have guests that come to America, um, we're probably not as hands-on um, than, than they are here in Italy. It might be a little bit more um, relaxed or they're much more hospitable, I guess, than what we probably are in America when we have people come from other countries. Okay, so... Just after one week of observation, what are some of the biggest differences you've seen between America and Italy? The language. <laughs> That's true. Um, yesterday, I was with all Italians and I was the only American. So that was a little bit... A um, lot of talking that I don't understand. A lot slower pace of life. Um, For an example, we went to the amusement park yesterday, and in America, we would have raced from attraction to attraction. And yesterday, we did an attraction, and then we stood around and talked for a long time, and then we did another attraction. So I think they're much more relaxed and laid back here in Italy, which I would prefer. In America, we're always like, hurry here, hurry there, go, go, you know, and I don't feel that here. So it's much less stressful. And um, I enjoyed that more. So you mentioned like graffiti and traffic and whatnot. I did want to get one 
maybe negative side of Italy question in. Is there some negative side, something maybe that surprised you, something that you didn't expect about in a, in a negative way about Italy? Mm-hmm. Um, not, I wouldn't say in a negative way, um, but obviously at this point, because I don't live in Denver anymore and now I live in Florida, I'm just not used to sitting in traffic the way that we've had to a lot around here. The other thing, which isn't a negative to me, but those motorcycles that go in between both lanes of traffic make me really nervous. I feel like they're going to crash every single time. And a lot of crazy driving, like crazy driving in and out, even the cars. Um, and I, you don't typically see that kind of thing in America because that would be you would get a ticket for that um so not that they're not good drivers it's just crazier driving is there something about italy that you are particularly fond of like maybe you're like yes kind of a moment where you were like why don't we do this in america yes okay um sitting around the table for every meal um and taking your time eating um conversation um I like the espresso Um, and just I think the whole family thing where like a lot of families live together in the same house even if it's separated um, by family they're very close to family which I miss that being in America because my family is spread all over so we don't get to see each other as often but in Italy I think um, the connection to family is, I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, I wish we were more like that in America. Like you could come live with me. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Um, what else? Is there anything else you want to share? I feel very fortunate and grateful that my dream to come to Italy has been 30 years. But I could have never dreamed as good of a trip as what I'm actually getting now. And that I think has a lot to do with the fact that um, I'm able to be in the Italian culture and not just a tourist because of Sonia and her family, obviously. One other thing, the churches um, or basilica um, and the architecture in Italy, I just, don't even know how to describe it um, because it's so detailed. Paintings, sculptures, um, beautiful. Um, the first church that I went in the first night I was here made me um, cry because it's so beautiful. Um, and we just don't have things like that in America, at least that I've ever seen. So, And it's everywhere here, the archi- just the architecture and how they did that so so many years ago is um incredible to me so so do you think after this trip you'll want to come back no just kidding (laughs) yes of course i would like to come back many many times so you've been here for a week now you've been exposed to the italian language what (laughs) what of the italian language do you know how to say bellissimo quindi um va bene Nice. Bueno. What bueno? bueno? Not bueno. Okay. Um, grazie. That one took me Which a while. Which took her a week to learn. She yes. just learned it after saying grazie <laughs> for a week. And I still mess up some. Bella. Vino. The standard words, I guess. <laughs> um, prego. Prego. Pronto. Pronto. Um, and... Grazie mille. Very nice with the Italian. And last question, what food or drink have you become enamored with on this trip? Oh, gosh. Um, It's all been wonderful and great. Um, The carbonara that uh, Sonia's mom made was wonderful. Um, I mean, it's all so good. I can't really say which, but my favorite part really is just like I kind of said before sitting around eating like a piece of cheese a piece of salami a coffee and um just the conversation of being able to do that Uh, the pizza is obviously fabuloso but everything I've had has been 
amazing and wonderful. And I, I thought it. you were going to say the coffee. Oh well, yeah. I haven't. I ha- I have not drink, drink, drunk, drunk coffee for one year, and um, so this is my first time drinking coffee after that year, and now I love it, and I drink it all the time. So. Okay. Well, I guess we'll sign off here. But thank you for participating. Grazie. Sounds like you like Italy. Si. And uh, ci vediamo alla prossima. All right, bye-bye.